Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to continue on our series of Don't Do This. This is the 10th, I believe, in the series. And this first uh, picture you can see that we've got glass sidewalls. Hmm, wonderful. <laughs> Just what we want in our room in a very, very critical position. So you can see that, you know, this room needs to be set up differently. Obviously, you know, this is an engineer who's mixing and playing, arranging also. So we need to first set up in the room. And then notice on the floors, there, there's hardwood floors. So we need to get some uh, throw rugs and some area rugs underneath this to minimize the reflections off the floor. So four walls, floor and ceiling, remember? All of these surface areas contribute their percentage to the problem. So in the next one, we can see same room, but basically no treatment at all. We don't even have reverberation time management treatment the reflections off the wall surfaces. We've got a, uh, looks like a low frequency absorber of some kind in, the, in one corner in the back, and then one or two wall hanging panels. They might as well not be there. It's not enough surface area to have an acoustical or audible impact. So you gotta be careful. And I see this so many times. I'll see a huge wall, 20 by 20 foot, have a little panel on it this big. It's not gonna work, you know? And whoever sold that to you and told you that it did, oh, that's horrible. You, you should have used a little common sense. How is a little bitty panel on a big wall going to do anything? I don't usually like to word the common, use the word common sense because what's common to others is unsensible maybe to, to others. But the bottom line here is you have to think about what you're doing. If the whole wall is causing the problem, treating just a little part of it, that's like corners. People say, well, put this in the corner to solve all your base problems. No, it won't. Because the corners only represent about 10% of the surface area of the wall. You have to treat the whole wall, okay? So in this next one, you can see that we have the speakers way above the seats, okay? And we have so many seats in such a small room. The problem with multiple seats, and I see this a lot uh, with people that call in, and I always ask them, I said, do you use the seats after their room is built and the seats are installed? And 95% say they never use them all. Well, you really got to think about this in the beginning of your project. Because if you're going to put six seats, six seats in and you're not going to use four of them, you're just going to use two, you're really compromising the sound quality of those two. Because to get the room to sound good in all six seats is nearly impossible. To get it to sound good in two is not that hard. Really good with two. Six, mediocre. So you got to be really focused on your usage. What I tell people is put enough seats in for the people that are going to use the theater all the time. And then if you have guests and you have company over holidays or whatever, move some seating in and remove it when they're gone. It's much easier to design the theater with a smaller number of seats, okay? In this next uh, project or photo, you can see the speakers in the corners again. And this is just a no-no. And then you have one panel. The client knew that if he put a panel there, he could hear the difference. What he didn't realize is that panel needs to cover both sidewalls. And he needs to get those speakers out of the corner and bring them out into the room more. Free space, remember? And then this one, we have a rear wall with building insulation. And the client called me and he says, I'm not happy with the sound of the room. And I said, what's the problem? He says, it's too dead. I hear this every day with people that use this 703, this 706, this building insulation material. Too dead because it was designed to keep your room warm and cold, not as an acoustical tool. So you have to be real careful about subverting the usages of technology. Use them for what they were designed for. Don't try to you know, bend them and twist them and shape them into your usage, because they won't work. So he pulled these out and put our foam technology in, and we'll do a follow-up video for that one. So. Five situations here, glass sidewalls, no treatment, speakers in the seats, speakers in corners, rear wall with building insulation, some things that you really don't want to do in a critical listening environment. Hope this helps. Thank you.
Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.